Hey guys, it's Dark Architect 18 back here with another YouTube video, and today we're going to be doing the uh, patch note video for uh, April update. So uh, before I get into that, I just want to say I do ship reviews, dev strike videos, and much, much more. So before I start, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you like the content and want to support the channel, hit that notification bell to stay up to date for all my videos. And now it's time to get to it. So we're going to break down the uh, patch notes. So patch notes, we got, um, it's going to be on March 25th, uh, 4 a.m. Central, 7 to 10 a.m. UTC. Same thing for PlayStation. Those are the maintenance times. Update size, Xbox is... 4.34 gigabytes, Xbox Series X, 4.42 gigabytes, so Series S and X, PS4, 4.252 gigabytes, PS5, 1.045 gigabytes, iOS is 1 gigabyte to 1.5 gigabytes, and an Android is uh, 100 megabytes to 1.56 gigabytes, so exciting stuff, so with this update we have uh just a quick breakdown we have the uh campaign with the pan-european tier 8 battleship carl the 14th johan all new planet Cr clash event for april fools early access to a new branch of japanese light cruisers the night warrior calendar with a new japanese cruiser commander five years strong we celebrate five years since the bit Battle launch of World of Warships Legends. The loyalty rewards program re returns to rank seasons and balance changes. So I'm going to break down the campaign. So the campaign is a Swedish uh, battleship. So it's the final reward of a five week 100 milestone campaign for this update. It's a hypothetical battleship. It's a Swedish Inspired rebuild of the Great War German battle cruiser design, joining the Pan European Nation War Warships Legends. She is armed with 12 12 inch 305 millimeter guns with a fast reload and a <coughs> excuse me and a pair of quadruple tube torpedo launchers per side. Like last update, you complete you can complete this uh, campaign's missions in verse AI mode as well as standard battles so that's very nice that you can do these missions in ai as well as standard so um as i typically do it i just run like my typical bureau missions in ai and you can do those other missions or whatever for um the campaign as well at the same time so it's very nice so the campaign runs from march 25th to april 29th five weeks of missions 100 levels of progression so you get uh, 50 common boosters, 7 European camouflages, 8 sci-fi space camouflages, 150,000 commander XP, 350,000 research points, 550,000 credits, 10,000 global XP, 15 promotion orders, 1 insignia, 1 commendation, 5 days of premium, 4 Japanese cruisers, crates, 1 patch base, and 1 patch symbol. For the uh, value of the rewards without admiralty backing, that's up to 11,667 doubloons. Additional rewards with admiralty backing, you got for 2,500 doubloons, you get 50 rare boosters, 13 European camouflages, 8 sci fi camp space camouflages, 1.4 research, um, research points. 300,000 commander XP, 2.45 million credits, 35,000 global XP, 30 promotion orders, 4 insignias, 4 commendations, 750 doubloons, 1 Japanese cruiser crates, 5 Japanese cruiser big crates, 1, com one commemorative flag, 1 admiralty backing, special weekly mission rewarding renowned points, and then pan-European battleship commander Janko Vukovic. And Pan European Tier 8 Premium Battleship Carl 14th Johan. Um, so XIV 14th. Uh, total value of the rewards with Admiralty backing is 75,570 doubloons. So, pretty good, uh, um, worthwhile uh, campaign. I'm definitely getting it. Um, so, yeah, next, next thing on the patch notes is the Planet Clash event. 
So uh, prepare for battle against the mighty of the All Destroyer in this new April Fool's Day operation. Your team will fight through a swarm of All Destroyer's minions to take her on and defeat her before she can escape. It's a race against the clock. So prepare yourself for the battle ahead. You will take command of specialty designed spaceships and their commanders with shields and special abilities to use against the all destroyers. Um, so you got space themed ships, commander guys and rewards. So uh, very interesting. Uh, Japanese light cruisers and early access over the crates. So um, tier four and upwards. So we have uh, access to the Agano. Gokase Omono and Shimanto. So these cruisers carry heavy torpedo armament with Turing torpedoes starting from Amano that allow them to launch at aggressive angles. An abundance of main battery guns and solid concealment provide plenty of utility to these torpedo slinging warships. Um, there's also a slick series of fleet review skins um, for the ships available for the anniversary of your model's final mission, a short series of missions will feature the legendary battleship from April 4th to the 11th. Completing them will earn some special rewards, including a few Japanese cruiser crates. Tier 8 cruiser Takahashi will be available for research next update as the Tier 8. Um, and then we have the Night Warrior calendar, so you can get um, Matsuji, uh, the commander, so... He is the Japanese uh, commander for the uh, Japanese cruisers. So you can get him through the calendar, similar to um, the calendars of the past, with, you know, doing your missions and such. Um, so he is the Japanese tech tree uh, for this new line for light cruisers. So uh, base trait, speed is my weapon. Increase torpedo speed up to one and a half knots. Increase ship maximum movement speed up to 2%. Uh, legendary skill killing distance reduced torpedo detectability by 50 100 150 or a maximum of 200 meters increased torpedo range from three four five and six percent if you get it maxed and then increased cruiser torpedo damage up to uh so it starts at 10 percent goes up to 13 17 and 20 percent depending on the distance traveled reaching maximum damage at max range um and on your way through unlocking this commander, you get plenty of rewards and some Japanese cruiser crates as well. So make sure to do those daily missions to get those uh, things for the first three weeks. But fear not, Doubloon Week is still on schedule for the second week of the calendar. And now we got... Uh, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> we got... Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, five years strong and loyalty rewards return. So uh, we got five years of the uh, World Warships Legends. So um, be prepared for a series of gifts in honor of the anniversary. So including a an exclusive Tier 5 premium ship for the five-year players. Um, Commonwealth cruiser ship Mysore. Uh, when you log in during the new update, you can pick up the free bundle in the store to get your rewards. Um... And a small mission for even more rewards. So it's similar to last year uh, with the uh, four-year four um, rewards. So um, basically whatever year you're at is what tier of rewards you're going to get. So if you're two years in for playing the game, you're going to get you know a two-year flag or whatever. Um, three, I think you get another flag or whatever. Four year four you get a flag and you also get uh the cyclone and year five you get the mysore so the commonwealth ship so there will be more information on a blog for this um in, in the future next thing we have is rank seasons 52 and 53 so the final two weeks of the update starting tuesday april 16th season 52 features tier five ships and season 53 features tier six ships Divisions of three players can fight together in 5v5 battles with a limit of one destroyer per team and no aircraft carriers. Plentiful rewards are in store for com competitors including up to 2400 steel for completing both seasons. So pretty good. New steel ship Dyson tier 8 uh, 
it'll be in the forge new ship this update so uh it's a large battle cruiser that enjoys eight accurate guns with high velocity guns great torpedoes and uniquely improved consumables her engine boost provides a short duration burst of speed that can send her up to um <clears throat> above 40 knots and her enhanced secondary targeting is the best in the game so she'll be worth uh 25,000 steel <clears throat> And then we got the mobile global release. We're going to have many different improvements from mobile global release. So full commander support, legendary skills, guises, voiceovers, calendar support, store coupons, improvements to touch controls, improved recognition of when the finger leaves the screen outside of the button area, performance improvements for the lower end devices, balance changes, this update brings another addition of Ministry of Balance changes, bringing improvements to many ships, buffs to selected Italian destroyers and French large cruisers, buffs to Resistance in Lyon, buffs to Hawk and St. Louis, nerfs to Alaska and Stalingrad, small economy changes to some Tier 8 ships, and plus there are some changes coming to spawn points on many of the maps at the beginning of the battle. And for more details, uh, refer to the link that I posted in the video uh for the ministry of balances article so i have that in the link uh so just take a look in the video um and you can find that improvements to fleets so um two new fleet features fleet call signs so now be uh visible next to your name and leaderboards in game battle log in game player list and post battle results screen this is a big upgrade for fleet fellow members and uh also, easier way to find fleets and potential recruits in games by looking for fleet feature, similar to looking for division. So uh, that's about it for the update. And then there's some uh, miscellaneous bug fixes for mobile. So uh, this is Dark Architect 18. Hope you guys enjoy the video. If you like the video, make sure to like, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and tap that notification bell to stay uh, tuned to the next video. Uh, this is Dark Architect 18. I am out. Thanks for tuning in to the, the battle and for uh, taking a look at the uh, patch note video. And hope everyone has a good day. Thanks. Peace. Bye.